the chain of narrators of the Prophet's will, the full chain of narrators, from a jama'ah, from Abi Abdullah, Hussein son of Ali, son of Sufyan al-Buzufri, from Ali, son of Sinan al-Musali, al-Adl, from Ali, son of al-Hussein, from Ahmed, son of Muhammad al-Khalil, from Ja'far, son of Ahmed al-Misri, from his uncle Hussein, son of Ali al-Misri, from his father, Ali, son of Bayan, from Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him. The Jama'ah report from Abi Abdullah Hussein, son of Ali, son of Sufyan al-Buzufri, and this Jama'ah consists of two people, Ahmed, son of Abdun, and Hussein, son of Ubaidullah al-Qadairi. Sheikh Atusi said, What I mentioned from Abi Abdullah al Hussein son of Sufyan al Buzufri, Ahmed son of Abdun, and Hussein son of Ubaidullah reported me it. The Jama'ah consists of two people. One is Ahmed son of Abdun, and he is considered to be trustworthy, and Hussein son of Ubaidullah al Qadari, and he is also considered to be trustworthy. The Jama'ah report from Abi Abdullah Hussein son of Ali son of Sufyan al-Buzufri. In Rijal al-Najashi, this narrator is trustworthy. Also in Khilasat al-Aqwal by Allam al-Halli, he considered this narrator to be a sheikh who is trustworthy. Ali son of Sinan al-Musali al-Adl. Sayyid Burujurdi said, Al-Adl can mean he is imami, 12, correct in his belief. And also he said, Al-Adl, Al-Saduq, praising him like that in Uyun Akhbar al-Rida is sufficient. So Al-Adl refers to a trustworthy narrator, trustworthy Shia narrator. Al-Musali reports from Ali, son of al Hussein. Mirza Nuri al-Tabrasi said, What is mentioned in the books of Hadith and Rijal is that the father of Al-Saduq is called Ali, son of al Hussein or Ali, son of Babuya. Also, in Rijal al-Najashi, it is mentioned about this man that he's the sheikh of those who are from Qom in his time, the earliest one among them, their faqih and the trustworthy one, faqih meaning jurist. The father of al-Saduq reports from Ahmed son of Muhammad al-Khalil. Sheikh Ali al-Numazi al-Shahrudi, who is a well-known scholar of Ilm al-Rijal, said about Ahmed son of Muhammad al-Khalil's report of a hadith about the 12 Imams. He says, In this report there is a mention of the 12 Imams, peace be upon them, their names and merits. This proves his goodness and completeness. His name is in a chain of narrators that is sahih. A sahih chain means all the narrators are trustworthy. Shaykh al-Kajori, Graded the chain, and he is a greatly praised scholar according to 12 scholars. Preface of volume 1 of Khasa'is al Fatimiyah proves this. A sahih hadith means all the narrators are trustworthy. Ahmad al Khalil was among them, also al Musali, the previous narrator we mentioned. Khasa'is al Fatimiyah, volume 2, page 498. Sheikh al Kajori said, As what has been reported in a sahih hadith, refer to Abi Salama. The full chain with the names of the narrators is in Bihar al-Anwar, volume 36, pages 260 to 262. Ahmed al-Khalil reports from Ja'far son of Ahmed al-Misri. The Sunni author of Lahabi said in Tariq al-Islam that he is a Rafidi liar. Mirza Nuri in Khatimat al-Mustadrak said, the defamation from the Sunnis against the Shia narrators is evidence to their trustworthiness. One of the hadiths he narrated was from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his progeny about Imam Ali, peace be upon him, in the Sunni books. He said, The one who loves you loves me and loves Allah, and the one who hates me hates me and hates Allah. Muhaqiq ad damad said, a sign for the goodness of the man and his correctness in his reports is when the Amma Sunnis weaken him just because he is a Shia, though they admit he is good. Ibn Hajar reports from Ibn Uday about the narrator Ja'far. 
He used to have good hadiths from Yahya, son of Bakir, but some are false. So the defamation of the Sunnis concerning this narrator proves that he is trustworthy to the Shias. Ja'far reports from Hussein, son of Ali al-Misri. Al-Hassan is a copyist error because of the name of his father and his ascription al-Misri, and also the tabaqa, the narrators he reports from during his time, because he lived during the time of al-Jawad, peace be upon him, and al-Riva, peace be upon him, and al-Hadi, peace be upon him, according to al-Khu'i in Rijal al-Hadith. In Sheikh al-Majlisi's book, when reporting the Prophet's will, he has Hussein. The book of Imamat by the Sheikh, the trustworthy one, Al-Mutakallim, Abi Abdullah, al Hussein, son of Ali al-Misri. As what Sayyid Hashim al-Bahrani said concerning his trustworthiness. Also in Rijal al-Najashi, it is said, al Hussein, son of Ali, Abu Abdullah, al-Misri, a speaker who is trustworthy. Hussein, son of Ali, reports from Ali, son of Bayan, his father. Number one, he directly narrated from Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, hence a companion. Number two, no proof that he was dispraised or condemned. Number three, Sheikh Ali al-Numazi al-Shahrudi said about him, the asal principle is considering trustworthy the companions of al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, except if there is evidence, i.e. of them being not trustworthy. As what has been said concerning the narrators of Ibn Qawlaway and Al Qummi. Mustadrakat Al Marijal Al Hadith, Volume 1, page 64. The rest of the narrators are the Imams, meaning the narrators in the Prophet's will. Silsila al Dhahabiya, Golden Chain of Narrators. Imam al Sadiq, peace be upon him. Imam al Baqir, peace be upon him. Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him. Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him. Imam Ali, peace be upon him. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny.